the Cybrarian presents The King and the Oak, a poem of King Cull by Robert E. Howard. Images courtesy of unsplash.com. Audio samples courtesy of YouTube Audio Library. Before the shadows slew the sun, the kites were soaring free, and Cull rode down the forest road, his red sword at his knee. And winds were whispering round the world, King Cull rides to the sea. The sun died crimson in the sea, the long grey shadows fell. The moon rose like a silver skull that wrought a demon's spell. For on its light great trees stood up like spectres out of hell. In spectral light the trees stood up and human monsters dim. Cull thought each trunk a living shape, each branch a knotted limb. And strange unmortal evil eyes flamed horribly at him. The branches writhe like knotted snakes, they beat against the night. And one grey oak with swaying stiff, horrific in his sight, tore up its roots and blocked his way, grim in the ghostly light. They grappled in the forest way, the king and the grisly oak. Its great limbs bent him in their grip, but never a word was spoke and futile in his iron hand a stabbing dagger broke. And through the monstrous tossing trees there sang a dim refrain, fraught deep with twice a million years of evil, hate and pain. We were the lords ere man had come, and shall be lords again. Cull sensed an empire, strange and old, that bowed to man's advance, as kingdoms of the grass blades before the marching ants. And horror gripped him in the dawn, like someone in a trance. He strove with bloody hands against a still and silent tree. As from a nightmare dream he woke, a wind blew down the lee, and Cull of High Atlantis rode silent to the sea. Thank you for listening. This has been a Siberian production of The King and the Oak, a poem of King Cull by Robert E. Howard. For updates, follow Vane Studios on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell of the Siberian YouTube channel. And if you're feeling generous, buy us a coffee to support our work. All links in the description.